The Huskies are getting ready for their final game of the regular season and they are looking to continue what is a nine game winning streak as our last loss came in week two of the season to Maryland. With a win against Miami last week, the Huskies locked themselves up a spot in the MAC Conference Championship here in season number two. And while we took on the Toledo Rockets in the MAC Championship last season, it wasn't going to be them again this year. They could prove to be a tough matchup on the offensive side of things though, as they had a strong senior receiving core with Larry Stevens and Junior Vandeross III, but RJ Johnson was a first year starting sophomore quarterback our defense was hoping to take advantage of this week. Flipping to the recruiting side of things, Malik Cobb visited last week and while he didn't sign with the Huskies, he was super close to signing with us. Titus Gibbs wasn't as close though as we still seem to be a couple weeks out from signing him, but hopefully after a win against Toledo this week, we could get both of those recruits to sign on the dotted line. Emilio Duran had it teed up for the Rockets and we were underway here. The Huskies on the road set to receive, taking it out from the goal line. As redshirt senior quarterback Ethan Hampton in the offense will get started at the 15. First and 10 for Hampton in the offense. The senior quarterback coming off of an up and down performance against Miami at home last week. In the very first play of the game, Jalen Poe puts the football on the ground but he would recover it himself as now Hampton setting up a quick screen to Applegate. Jalen Poe would also go down with a minor injury on that play, so this is not off to a great start for NIU. But Justin Lynch comes in, he would pick up the first down, and this drive stays alive for the Huskies as he has another one. The Huskies are moving the ball well to start the game, as it's gonna be play action, Hampton back to throw, he's going left side, Keyshawn Pipkin is wide open, inside the 10, out at the three. First and goal to go for the Huskies, as it's gonna be Kenji Lewis on the sweep that is going absolutely nowhere backed up to the four yard line second and goal man in motion again they're gonna fake the sweep Jalen Poe the sophomore back returning from injury is gonna go backwards for a loss of three bringing up third and goal Hampton across the middle just short as Kyle Thomas so Jake Siebert would come out for a 19 yard field goal for the Huskies and it's no good He's gonna miss just left of the upright. And so that opening drive will result in zero points for the Huskies as RJ Johnson the third and the Rockets take over on offense for the first time today. That pass completed to Junior Vandeross for a first down. The Huskies now all over that read option as they're going backwards for a loss of two. It's gonna be a handoff here to Connor Wallenzak who picks up a good chunk, making this a much more manageable third and three for the Rockets offense as it's gonna be a handoff to Aiden Loffery who has the left side and the first down bringing the ball into Husky territory for the Rockets from the 49 now in the shotgun it's going to be a handoff to Wallenzak who has some room to run inside the 30 down to the 25 and the redshirt sophomore having a big day already 32 yards off of just two carries as they're going right back to him again only going to pick up three on that one though so second and seven setting up a quick screen to Jaden Dodden and the senior is going to be pushed out of bounds at the 18 after picking up five, setting up another manageable third down here for the Rockets. They're going back to Wallenzak, who's met at the marker. The officials are going to give it to him, though, as they're sticking with the ground game. It's Aiden Lawfrey, not touched at all, up the left side on the stretch play. And the junior halfback takes it in for the Rockets for the first touchdown today. And Toledo jumps out to an early 7-0 lead over the Huskies. That first drive looked really promising for NIU, but they just couldn't capitalize, something we're not used to seeing from the Huskies. And now the Rockets have them backed up to a third and six. Hampton, he's going to connect with Kyle Thomas for a first down. So this drive stays alive, but Toledo has been putting pressure on the NIU offense early and often today. We'll see if they can get two to defensive stops in a row, but it will be tough as they're sticking with the ground game to Jalen Poe right around midfield. A fresh set of downs for the Huskies now. Justin Lynch in the game. It's going to be play action. Hampton rolling out to the right. Pressure coming. He's going to throw this. Don't know who it's intended for. Both Kevin Shaughnessy and Kenji Lewis in the area, but Lewis would come down with the reception as Poe's back in the game now, taking this pitch to the 11-yard line. Great play there by the sophomore halfback. He would get a breather on this next play as Justin Lynch takes it down to the 7. 
one. A pick up a five for the Huskies near the end zone here. They don't want a field goal. They want to find the promised land as Poe is just short. Officials would mark him down at the one yard line. Is this going to be a read option? Hampton, he's not going to pick up anything. They would actually say he lost the yard on that. So it would be second and goal from the two. Wide receiver sweep. Kenji Lewis, second effort, fights his way and finds his way into the end zone for six as the Huskies will tie it up at seven apiece to end the first quarter. So a great way for the Huskies to end the first as Toledo takes over tied at seven apiece here to start the second quarter. It's going to be a handoff to Loffrey. The junior halfback picking up seven on that play is now Johnson back to throw right side. That's going to be completed. Fresh set of downs now for the Rockets as they're going empty backfield. It's going to be a wide receiver sweep to Wallen Zach who picks up a couple. Refs are going to say he only picked up two bringing the ball to the 40 yard line as back to throw is Johnson setting up the halfback screen to Loffrey. He has the first down and more inside Husky territory. Another fresh set of downs for the Rockets as the Huskies defense just can't seem to get a stop as they're going with the double reverse pass. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Up it. Up it. But that trick play would be negated by that holding penalty against the Rockets, backing them up 10 yards to a first and 20 as they're keeping it on the ground. Huskies defensive line all over that one, bringing up now a second and 22. Another handoff sticking with the ground game. And again, the Huskies defensive line all over that one two times in a row. Let's see if they can make it three to get a stop here. Johnson back to throw. He's rolling to his left, going to throw this one away. So finally, the Huskies defense will get a stop as they will force a punt here on fourth and 22. Thompson's going to take this one met almost immediately. So Ethan Hampton and the Huskies offense get another chance here with the ball rolling out on play action to the right. Great coverage here from the defense. He finds his connection. It would be Jake Applegate only picking up three on that extended play as they're going to Jalen Poe on second down. The sophomore back picking up four as he's going to run the Wildcat here and that play blows up in NIU's face immediately. Fourth and and six they're gonna have to punt the ball back here so neither team able to do anything with their first possession in the second quarter Johnson in Toledo's offense looking to change that here as they start with a handoff on first and ten Aiden Loffrey picking up four on that play for the Rockets bringing up now a second and six they're going right back to him to the stretch play he has the first down pushed out of bounds at the Huskies 48 yard line the Rockets back in enemy territory as they're sticking with Loffrey here on the ground the junior picking up eight yards on that play for the Rockets bringing up a manageable second and two halfback draw again to him it's the Rockets really relying on the ground game as it's been working so far for them against this Huskies defense as they run the speed option. And it's the sophomore Connor Wallenzak who picks up the first down on the pitch. Finally, Johnson go into the air here as that's connected to Dodden and the redshirt senior picks up nine for the Rockets as they're slowly but surely moving into NIU territory here second and one back to Loffrey wide open gap up the middle and the junior redshirt back finds his way into the end zone for Toledo and a very dominant rushing attack so far from the Rockets today it has them up 14 to 7 over the Huskies only two minutes to go here in the first half Hampton and the Huskies hoping to get on the board before halftime but they just haven't been able to do anything so far on offense today third and 12 they're going to hand it off to Jalen Poe he is well short in Toledo will use their first time out as they have a minute 46 now to try to get down the field the defense all over that one bringing up second and 17 with that sack on Johnson as they're wasting a lot of time here and it looks like the Rockets are just going to be content with running this to halftime third and 17 it's going to be another handoff to Loffrey surprise Toledo wasn't a little more aggressive there a chance to really do some damage to the Huskies here but they're instead going to punt this away as that will be the last play of the half we head to halftime and the Huskies surprisingly trailing 14 to 7 against Toledo here. Aiden Lawfrey been going off 78 rushing yards two touchdowns in the first half alone and this defense has to step up for NIU if they want things to change in the second half. Toledo will start with the ball at their own 14 yard line here starting the second half. Play action, Johnson back to throw, going deep right side. That's going to be completed to Junior Vanderos, who beats the defense deep. And on the very first play of the second half, 
Toledo gets on the board with a passing touchdown. And this is not looking good for NIU at all. Down 21 to 7. First play of the second half, they give up a big touchdown. Nothing seems to be going the Huskies' way today as Hampton sacked on the first play. It's going to be a wide receiver sweep now to Kenji Lewis, who has the corner. He has the first down as well, a pickup of 17. First and 10, going to Jalen Poe, trying to get this ground game going. And for a Huskies team that has relied on the ground game, it has been non-existent pretty much for them today. Toledo showing that if you want to beat this Huskies team, you really have to force Ethan Hampton to do it himself. And we know how up and down Ethan Hampton has been this year for the Huskies, and this is a horrible punt. And once again, just everything seems to be going wrong for the Huskies. They can't seem to get anything right on defense, on offense, or special teams today as they're going to give up another big play. Junior Vandeross with that reception and his first two plays are two big ones for the Rockets in the second half. He's tearing up this Husky secondary. It's so surprising to see because this defense statistically is one of the best in the entire country this year. And while they've been making some plays like that sack on RJ Johnson, they've been giving up some big plays and just letting this Rockets team dink and dunk their way down the field this entire game. Thankfully though, they'll come up with another sack there, taking the the Rockets out of field goal range. No points on the board for them and another chance for the Huskies. NIU still trying to get this run game going. They'd pick up six on that play and it's going to be a wide receiver pitch. Keyshawn Pimpkin has the first down. The Huskies need points though this drive. No question about it. They cannot punt the ball again. Down 14 here. Toledo has all the momentum right now in this game as Hampton back to throw. That's going to be a short check down. Officials mark him just short of the first down. Second and in inches here. Safe to assume they're going to run it. It's going to be another receiver pitch here to Keyshawn Pimpkin. Barely picks up any yards, but it's enough for the first down. As pressure coming on Hampton, he gets it off in time to Kenji Lewis. Senior receiver is going to pick up seven on that play. We're under two and a half minutes to go in the third, up the middle to Poe. And again, the Huskies just can't seem to get a good push off that offensive line here today as they're going to stick with Poe again on third and one who gets the first. Down to the 40-yard line of Toledo. We haven't really seen the Huskies offense get deep into their territory yet this game as that's a bad throw. Hampton had his receiver Kenji Lewis open but just couldn't deliver when he needed to as now second and 10. Kyle Thomas on the crossing route across the middle has the first down. Play action now. Hampton avoids the sack. Great pressure there from Toledo as they force the incomplete. Second and 10 now. They're handing it off to Jalen Poe. Finally some room to run. Has the first. Down to the 14 yard line. NIU has to find the end zone. Can't settle for a field goal here. That play going backwards. Second and 11 play action. Hampton scanning. He's going to step up, take it himself, narrowly avoids a sack. The senior quarterback is going to pick up 10 on that play. Third and one, back to throw. He's going right side. Kevin Shaughnessy has it into the end zone in the true freshman tight end. Finally, gets the Huskies back on the board today. So it is now only a seven-point game. The Huskies back in this, but they're going to need a stop against Toledo. That pass completed to Larry Stevens for a first down. Surprisingly, he's had a quiet day. The Huskies doing a good job of shutting down that senior receiver for the Rockets. If only they've been able to stop Junior Vandeross, who has stepped up in the absence of Larry Stevens today. Second and in inches now. Hand off to Lawfrey up the middle. Huge pickup here. Again, the junior back just gashing the Huskies defense all day. They still don't seem to have an answer for them as they're going to go with the reverse here again. NIU all over it. They only fell for it once today. Got bailed out by the holding penalty. They weren't going to let that happen again here. But that would bring us to the end of the third quarter. We have ourselves a close one here. Huskies down by 7 to Toledo. A third and 16. NIU with a huge chance to get a stop here to start the fourth quarter and get the ball back. And it's looking like they'll do just that. Great pressure on RJ Johnson forcing the throw away and Ethan Hampton in the Huskies offense get a chance to tie this game up to start the fourth quarter. Off to a great start as Kenji Lewis would pick up the first down sticking with the ground game to Jalen Poe. The sophomore gonna pick up five yards on that one second and five now. Hampton in the shotgun. Jake Applegate in motion to the left for the Huskies and it's gonna be another handoff to Jalen Poe not for much. Only picking up two on that one third and three. Huskies need to convert sticking on the ground to Poe 
though, who has it. Fresh set of downs for the Huskies into Toledo territory. Hampton now rolling out. Dangerous throw there. He gets it off to Applegate. He's lucky that defensive end bit on him and not on the route as they're going back to the air. A great diving catch along the sideline there from Keyshawn Pipkin to pick up the first down. They're going to Thomas now on the sweep. That's going absolutely nowhere, though. Hampton back to throw. Shot across the middle. He had Kyle Thomas wide open, but the pass falls just short of him. And then Jake Applegate can't hold on to that third down pass, so Jake Siebert comes in, and he's going to knock home this 54-yard field goal for the Huskies. And while they weren't able to tie it up, they still got points on the board. It's a four-point game. The Huskies are still going to need a touchdown later in this quarter, though, as they take back over on defense. RJ Johnson avoiding the sack, and he would scramble for the first down as they hand it off to Lawfrey. The Huskies stuffing him at the line of scrimmage, though. That's what they need to do. He's been gashing their defense all day long. And the Huskies had a player in a position to make a pick there, but he just didn't turn his head around to see the ball coming. Nonetheless, third and five, the Rockets pick it up. None other than Junior Vandeross who's been making big plays all day through the air game for the Rockets. It finally looks like the Huskies run defense is showing up for them though in this game. Would have been great to see this level of pressure from the defensive line in the first three quarters of the game. Nonetheless though, Rockets facing a third and 12. Pressure gets to Johnson. He's sacked for a loss of seven. The Huskies get the stop with under two minutes to go so they're gonna get a chance with the ball here. We'll see what the offense can do if they can drive down the field. After that short punt return, Hampton and the Huskies will be starting at their own 19 yard line, opening up with a short pass. They're gonna need more than pickups of three though. Second and seven, Hampton rolling out. He's going, taking a shot right side. A great ball from Hampton, but Kenji Lewis just couldn't hold on to it into the double coverage. And on third down, Hampton throws it into his offensive line, so this could be the game. A poor throw, but that's completed. Kyle Thomas reaching down low to scoop that one up. It's a first down. This drive stays alive. Hampton, he's running. He puts the football on the ground, and the Rockets recover it. Another Ethan Hampton turnover that is costly. And even though the Huskies have three timeouts left, a first down will win the game for Toledo. I can't believe Hampton fumbled it. A great play by him to step up and take that empty space, but you have to hold on to the ball or slide in that position as the Rockets are going to pick up the first down now. Johnson comes out in victory formation with his offense. He will take a knee, and that will end this one. Toledo upsets number 11, NIU at home 21 to 17. And this very well could have ended the playoff hopes for the Huskies. Aiden Lawfrey went off on them today. 98 rushing yards on 17 attempts and two touchdowns. The run defense just wasn't there for the Huskies today. It showed up in the fourth quarter, but it was three quarters too late. And Toledo was able to take advantage of that for the win today. Even though we lost, Cyrus McGarrell would be named Mac Defensive Player of the Week. And at least one bright thing that came out of that loss was Malik Cobb, the three-star cornerback, would finally commit to our team. We knew regardless of the outcome of that game, we still would be a lock for the MAC Conference Championship going up against Ball State, but that unranked loss did drop us from 11 all the way down to 21, and we were now out of the projected college football playoff picture. Even though Ball State was an unranked team in the MAC Conference, if we wanted any shot at fighting our way into the playoffs, we would have to beat them next week in our MAC Conference Championship.